Hey everyone, it's a rainy, gloomy day, so it's a perfect day for a stew. How about a gnocchi beef stew with our Anderson Farms grass-fed beef? Here comes the recipe. All right, we're gonna go ahead and prep our beef. This is Anderson Farms stew meat, already cut into chunks. So we're just gonna drain off this excess liquid. and get our chunks. Up here where we can season them. Now I've taken these out of the refrigerator about 45 minutes to an hour ago to get them up to room temperature. I like to do that with all of our beef. I think that uh, you have a much better um, consistent um, cook on this meat being how lean it is. So we are going to season this with some salt and pepper. I like to go with the fresh ground on my paper. Gives it a lot more flavor than the already ground of store-bought containers. Give it a little stir around, add a little bit more seasoning on there. So our meat is seasoned. Right here I have a cast iron Dutch oven. We're gonna use this to cook our stew in today. So first thing, we're gonna heat this up over medium high heat so that we can get a good sear on these pieces of meat. We're gonna use a little bit of olive oil in the pan. And in the meantime, while that is heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the onion. My personal preference, I love sweet onions. You can use whatever onion you prefer in your stew. So, get this all peeled off. the warm zone on my stove because I want to be able to stick those in a warm place whenever they get done searing while I de the pan and go to the next step. Don't be blocked. Absolutely delicious. 
Okay, we are going to grab the last of these out of the pan. And then I am going to get two tablespoons of butter. Go ahead and get that melting in the pan. And we are going to finish getting this garlic ready. You want to use about three or four cloves. Give them a good smash if you haven't. It really gets the oils coming out of them. It intensifies that flavor. So we're going to mince this up. So we've got our butter melted in the pan, so we're going to throw in these onions. We're going to cook these onions down until they're translucent, it should be about five minutes. The onions are starting to get translucent, so we are going to add in some minced garlic. bit of red pepper flakes. We like just a little bit of heat in our house. Let that cook for about another minute. Then we're going to stir in about a third of a cup of flour. And a tablespoon of paprika. You can use smoked paprika, sweet paprika, whatever your favorite is. good stir. So this flour is going to act as a thickener. We're kind of getting a little bit of a roux going on here. I'm going to go ahead and declaze this pan. I like to use a little bit of red wine. You can use warm water, warm beef stew, whatever your preference is. I just like the rich flavor of the wine, so deglaze the pan just a little bit. We're going to add our beef back in. It's warm. Again, I had it on that warmer. And we're going to add beef stock. You can use warm water still for this as well. Um, I wouldn't use wine just for the entire thing. This, this is the broth to your stew. So uh, it's really up to you what you choose to use, but I like to use beef broth. Adds just a more depth to the flavor. And after all, this is a beef stew. So now we're gonna add a little bit of our seasoning and I like to actually put it in this little strainer here because I don't like to have the chunks in my stew, especially for these cloves. So we're gonna use a little bit of cloves, some thyme leaf, you can use fresh thyme if you have it. I did not, so we're going to use dried thyme. 
Additionally, I didn't have a whole bay leaf, so we're going to use um, some chop bay. I'm going to give that a little shake. I'm going to drop him down in the liquid. And that's going to let those seasonings season the broth without actually having those leaves and such get into your broth. We're going to let this simmer and cook for two and a half hours. All right, y'all, it has been just over 30 minutes, so we're going to give this stew a little bit of a stir. See the steam rolling off of there and those seasonings are incorporating in there. I wish y'all could smell this because it smells delicious and hearty and perfect for the rainy weather. Okay, we're nearing our end of our two and a half hours. So we've let the stew simmer for that long and now we're going to add in the rest of our ingredients to our stew. Now at this point in time, this is whenever things can get pretty flexible. If you like tomatoes, you can add tomatoes to this stew at this time. If you want to add chopped up uh, potatoes, you can add those at this time. I am going to add just carrots at this time because I'm going to end up using this pre-packaged potato gnocchi and so that's going to go in in the very last five minutes but we want to cook our carrots down for about 30 minutes or so and same thing with the tomatoes or the potatoes or any other item that you want to add in at this time uh peas frozen peas anything like that you're going to want to add that at this two and a half hours and cook it for another 30 minutes so this is simmered for two and a half hours my little spice is over there it's looking fabulous. I did add a little bit of water to it because it was getting a little too thick and I wanted to make sure that I was gonna have enough broth for my stew with the gnocchi and the carrots. So I'm gonna add my carrots at this time. And these are carrots actually out of my garden from this year. So as you can see, there are all kinds of different colors and varieties. Put those carrots in there, stir them in. that good flavor and then we're just gonna put the lid back on and we're continue to cook for another 30 minutes okay we're gonna finish this off with the addition of potato gnocchi I happen to love gnocchi of course I love all pasta However, I'm a big potato fan as well, so this is a nice little compromise to just regular potatoes. Gives you a little bit more of a pasta feel. So I'm going to go ahead and snatch this guy out of here. He has been... Add in some flavors. All right. Give it a stir. We're gonna let her cook for about five more minutes and it's gonna be done. This beef stew with potato gnocchi made with our Anderson Farms grass-fed beef is done. And I'm super excited to try it. We're gonna let it cool down a little bit. And then I will show you just how tender this meat's gonna be.